This uh, help video is on the management of clubfoot in arthrogryposis. And our videos are authoritative and non-commercial. And this is like one of our other arthrogryposis videos, but, but, but uh, focus on the management of club feet. Uh, the presentation is based on, first of all, our text atlas of arthrogryposis, which may be downloaded free from our website, globalhelp.org. Also where the procedure is first described in the practice of pediatric orthopedics. And also from our uh, article in the Journal of Pediatric Orthopedics on the amy amyoplastic management. And finally, on the review of the current literature on the subject. The amyoplasia in arthrogryposis we think should be managed by the Ponsetti casting technique or start early in the first year. If the procedure goes well and uh, the correction is consistent and, and pro progressive, then this can be, uh, be completed by the standard Ponsetti technique and then go on with nice splinting. However, in arthrogryposis and the amyoplastic type, the correction is often very slow and it can be facilitated by multiple percutaneous releases. And then this is continu continued with casting, which usually goes in very quickly and is followed by nice splinting. Another advantage of this um, uh, multiple percutaneous releases is that with the general anesthesia, other procedures that are indicated around the hip or the knee may be done concurrently. The preparation involves, first of all, providing a general anesthetic uh, to do a wide draping so that other procedures might be done concurrently. Uh, the first step is to lengthen the posterior tibialis tendon, which is palpated uh, on the medial side of the ankle. Uh, there's the minimum sort of incision made, and then the tendon is uh, isolated and divided within the tendon sheath. Um, and this requires only a very uh, easy closure of the short skin incision with absorbable subcuticular seat sutures, which require no additional care after this. The second step is to divide the heel cord. And this is usually done through a stab incision, a little more posterior than shown here in this illustration. And it's shown better in this drawing. And you have to be careful not to have, uh, injure the neurovascular bundle, which is more anterior. So incision, the stab wound is made here. The tendon is identified, divided transversely, and then allowed to retract. The third step is to divide the toe flexors. This is done through a midline uh, stab incision and going to then divide the flexor longus tendon in the, in the sheath itself. And this may be repeated in the other toes as necessary and is frequently done. And there's no skin incision repair necessary for this procedure. And then one applies the long leg cast with a knot, with a void uh, stretching excessively so there's not too much tension on the skin, on the skin uh, uh, operative sites. Uh, then resume the Ponsetti casting sequences before, and it usually goes along very quickly. And then provide the nice splinting as a standard with the Ponsetti technique. So in review then, the clubfoot management may be facilitated in amyoplasia by modifying the technique to include um, release of the posterior tibialis, the heel cord, and the long flexor tendons. And this procedure may be combined with other operations of the knee and the hip that can be done concurrently. So we, there are other additional videos on arthrogryposis. Uh, we talk about the general principles of management and also the open reduction of hip dislocation. So go to our website to see these other videos if you wish. And send me any comments to staley at uw.edu. Thank you very much for watching.